There are new details emerging tonight surrounding yesterday's car chase that turned deadly in Soledad. It sent two officers to the hospital, including the police chief. The pedestrian who was killed was identified today, and we have learned that he has ties to local law enforcement. With the latest developments, we go to Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez, live in Soledad. Well, Aaron, Dan, that victim was the father of a local law enforcement officer. Out of respect to the family, we are not identifying the agency where that officer works. Police say 65-year-old Guadalupe Garcia was walking with his bike Tuesday morning when the suspect they were chasing intentionally ran over Garcia, killing him. Later that day, police learned the victim is the father of a local law enforcement officer. So that added a dynamic to it that the officers initially didn't know occurred. Uh, once they found out, they continued on with their mission. Uh, we owe it to all victims and their families to get all this get all this right. The accused killer is 24 year old Paulo Ortiz, who led police on a chase from Greenfield to Soledad after being spotted in a stolen car. In Soledad, the chase turned chaotic as Ortiz allegedly tried to run over pedestrians at a busy shopping center. Surveillance cameras here at the Foods Co shopping center give a clear picture of just how erratic the suspect was driving. Police describe people jumping out of the way to avoid being run over. There's a mother and child that get out of the way right at the last minute in one of the parking lots and then one of the gas stations. A gentleman's coming from behind a, uh, one of the gas pumps and is able to stop just before the vehicle swerves at him. It would be Soledad Police Chief Damon Wasson who finally stopped the threat, ramming the suspect head on before he could reach the busy downtown. It's just a tragedy. Nothing like this happens in this town. And it shouldn't have to. And it's a great thing that the police chief did what he did and all the other agencies did what they did to stop what was going on because who knows what else he would have done. Paulo Ortiz has been charged with murder, assault with a deadly weapon, and evading police. His bail has been set at just over $1 million. As for Chief Damon Wasson, it's unknown when he might return back to the office. A Greenfield officer who was also injured has not been identified, but we're told he's likely to return to the job by the end of the week. Reporting from Soledad, Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.